Tell me about the the, uh, the show in Jasper. You brought Billy Joe Royal into Jasper, oh, Tennessee. Lord. This is a funny story. Billy Joe, rem he, he still remembers. I've known Billy Joe since 1962, and we're we're really close friends. And and matter of fact, he was my at my inductee into the into the Radio Hall of Fame, Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame. He was one of my special. Yes, everybody was my guest, but he was a little, you know, because of his notoriety and what have you. I asked him, I said, would you like to come to the Hall of Fame and, and see me get uh, inducted? He said, yeah, man, I'd love it. And he had a ball. He had a blast down there. The, the Jasper thing, we I got booked to do the, the show with the, uh, uh, William Jett, that's Hank Jr.'s half-sister, and uh, so she opened the show, and then I came on, Billy Joe had his bus, and it was pouring down rain out in a field. They had it, uh, and there was one person there. <laughs> one lady, she, I don't know who she was, and Charlene, my wife, now can tell you that this is a true story. She sat there all the way through the show. Now, it didn't literally pour or come a flood, but it rained. The whole show. It rained hard enough to where only one person. One person showed. stayed, right? And Billy Joe Roy was a, is, is still a big name, and he was a big name. And what then. year was that? That was. Uh, let's see. Well, Charlene and I've been married. It was about 15, 10 or fifteen years ago. Wow. Somewhere, somewhere in there. You think uh, Billy Joe Royal today will remember oh, Jasper, Tennessee? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, we, we talk about it. We still talk about it. Occasionally, when I'm with him, I'll ask him. I say, "You remember the Jasper show we had?" He said, "Oh Lord, do I ever!" And but he, you know what? He went on, and when he when I introduced him, he came on and and did the show just like he would have done it if it like I said, like if there'd been ten thousand people there. And he told me he hugged me and told me he loved me. He said, "I love you, man." I said, "I love you too for doing this." You gotta love somebody, you know, and uh, he's one of my best buddies and a good, good friend, and it's great to have friends like that.